So hey guys, this is my weekly report for December 14th. As you know, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in the fishing industry for about 30 years. So all my reports I get from local guides, um, friends, customers, and I'm on the water three or four times a week myself. So all the stuff that I'm telling you guys is really current. Another thing is when you're on your way out there on Saturday morning, turn your radio on the AM dial at 1140 and California Sportsman's um, on the SEPS show, I come on at 640 in the morning and anything else that you know I've, I learned during the week between now and Saturday, I also tell you Saturday morning live. So a lot of times I go in the studio I might get there a little early and, and also get on Kent Brown's show. So tune in the radio on your way to fishing on 1140 on the AM dial. So let's get on with this report. So normally I start out in the salt water as usual. Um, the uh, rock fishing is going to end on December 31st is the last day. And it's been crazy off the hook. This is the time of the year that them big ling cut come into shallow water to spawn. I did a video a couple weeks ago and um, I showed how I catch them. And um, I went up the coast of Bodega and caught some big ling cod for around this area, you know, 25 pound fish. But the rock cod fishing is also crazy off the hook. A lot of the outfitters now are given the combo where you can get the Dungeness crab because the Dungeness crab season is still really good right now because the commercials, they haven't let them out yet because of the, all the whale sightings. So when they see all these whales out there, they'll not let those guys go out and do their crabbing. So right now it's closed. They cannot go out there. So the crabbing's been pretty good. Um, I was out this last week and, you know, we were out there a little bumpy and took a little while to get them, but you know, we got our four limits of crab. The rock fishing, we couldn't go up north because it was so bumpy. I didn't want to fight those waves all the way back. But, you know, during the week when it was calm, I got friends that were going up there and they're catching a lot of ling cod. They're getting a lot of crab. And one of the things I heard from a good customer the other day is kayakers over in Tomales Bay are catching a lot of Dungeness crab. And they've been getting them in like 40 to 50 foot. And these are good quality ones. They're, you know, seven inch crabs. Those are big. They're two pounders and they're pretty plentiful in there. So, you know, if you got a kayak, you might want to head out that way pretty soon. So other things coming in, um, there's been a little bit of tuna action, you know, out on the Cordell Banks. But I think it's pretty much coming to an end. So we're going to go in a little further and... Um, one of the hot things that are going on right now is the sturgeon fishing. If you have the right tides, it's been really good. And the go-to bait has been roe. You could also get them on eel and go shrimp. But I heard the Susun area to the Martinez area has been pretty decent. One of the things those guys are doing out there, I heard from some local fishermen that were fishing out in Susun, that they're catching a lot of what they call bait stealers, which are stripers eating their or row, they get mad because you know they're sturgeon fishing, and here they're catching stripers from five pounds to 25 pounds. So, and they're getting a lot of bites. They told me they're actually getting a lot of striper bites. So, those fish are in that backish water with this big rain that we just had, it's going to push a lot of fresh water down. So, I anticipate those fish to start moving in. So, I would start looking at my um, flooded islands like Big Break, uh, Sherman, um, Frank's Track, Liberty, those kind of areas like that, those fish are going to start moving into. The water temperature is perfect. It's in that low 50s. And that's this time of the year when I go fish shallow and I get out my big topwater lures and my big glide baits and I start cruising around fishing for those big fish. I don't get a lot of bites. You know, I'm getting maybe sometimes two or three um, good bites a day and but i'd rather hook onto one of them monster fish than catch 20 little ones but that's coming up so you know if that's what you want to do try to get your personal best i think now is the time you want to do it 
Another way to catch a lot of fish, stripers, is get that A-rig out. I did a video the last two Mondays, and I show you how to do it. I show you how to set them up, how to make them, tune them so they go straight. And I also had an awesome day fishing those A-rigs for stripers. This is the time of year that those shad ball up, and those fish go after them, and those A-rigs are deadly. And you could also throw them. Um, I like casting them. And I know I talked to some guys that um, are trollers, and that's all they do. And they've been having on and off days. Um, they've been having some days where it's been really good, some days where it's been a little bit slow. And they're trolling like the Ozuri shallow runners and three quarter ounce rattle traps also. But there's days when they're having 20, 30 fish days. But I'm anticipating with this rain that we just had, it's going to make a lot of fish move in a little more into our delta system. So the bass fishing down there, I want to talk about that a little bit because the water temperature has dropped. Most of the places I've been, it's been 52 at the warmest as far as cold as 49 degrees. Get that rip bait out. I caught a lot of fish throwing a rip bait. And what I do is I rip it down and then I let it sit. And then instead of popping it, I just drag it real slow. And you want to use a suspending one. And I've been catching a lot of decent fish. So that's one way, you know, during the winter months that I catch a lot of bass that's with a rip bait. Working it real slow. I'm almost moving it like I was using a worm. So uh, also the... Um, sturgeon ought to start moving up in the river systems if this rain if it rained really hard up north and we get this muddy water coming down the sacramento river then a lot of them sturgeon will start moving up into the sacramento where guys fishing around hood um merritt landing and then maybe in a, another week or two head up to knight's landing so that's some of the choices options that you guys have lakes around here the bass fishing in the lakes, um, Comanche, Orville, all these lakes in the muddle load, they've been pretty decent bass fishing. And usually in the fall, when you start getting the rain and stuff, those lakes will usually turn on. I think guys are learning to fish a little bit deeper, like it, when you're drop shot. And I would always pick up a spoon and take it with me and watch my graft. And, you know, if I see them, I want to drop a spoon on them. But you can drop shot these things. But, uh, you know, you're going to be... I'm hearing more and more guys because it's pretty much unheard of people fishing past 30 feet deep for bass. But, you know what? You can fish down 30 to 60 feet, no problem, and catch bass. So some of the things else going around in our area and our lakes... Are the trout fishing the trout fishing getting really good um, a lot of the lakes are uh, planting pretty hit pretty heavy right now Comanche's been planting big fish in there Amador has and Collins um, there's been reports of fish being released that are in that 10 pound range so rainbow trout fishing can be very um, rewarding right now when I was up at Berryessa this last week I was actually bluegill fishing and um, we're catching bluegills that are like three quarter to a pound and also in the mix with some crappie and I'm catching them in 30 to 45 feet of water on steep banks with four pound test it's a blast and one of the things is uh, the other day when I was coming in I was grafting and I was coming in right outside of Markley Cove and I was grafting a ton of bait in 60 to 80 feet of water so that lake has not turned over yet so i was seeing a lot of bait balls and i was explaining to the guys with that the bait balls instead of being round were kind of like a christmas tree and you could see arcs around it so those are either trout or salmon that are on these bait balls so you know if the guy wants to go catch some trout or salmon i think that would be a good place to go try and you want to use downriggers and you want to pull your baits in 60 to 80 feet of water but the bluegill fishing up there like i said has been crazy so if you got kids that like to fish i'm fishing vertical straight down 
and it's a blast. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of bluegill up there. So we're going to come back and um, get into our river system. I think, like I mentioned before, with that rain coming in and we getting all this fresh water, I think all the lakes, uh, the rivers and everything is going to start producing. One of the things that I've found that when you get a big um, surge of dirty water coming down the Sacramento River, the off sloughs start to pick up because they stay more cleaner. So, but I don't think we had that much rain that it's going to dirty that Sacramento River up that bad. So I'm anticipating some good fishing in the next couple of weeks. So another thing, um, guys, uh, fishing license now, do you buy them? They're good for the year that you buy it from the date. So if you buy it on January 10th, it's good till the following year, January 10th. So California finally passed that law, so it starts this year. And um, all I have to say is, you know, get out there and enjoy some fishing. So, you know, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. And, you know, if you just hit the subscribe button, it'll help me out a lot, help my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if you look in the bottom corner, you're going to see a comment button down there. You can leave me a comment. And I'll usually answer you within two or three days. You can ask me about anything. I got like a hundred videos out already and you could go back on any of them, ask me and you know, I'll get back to you in a couple days. So don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.